Alright. You okay. ready? I'm ready. <sighs> Let's do it! Oh! Oh, sail gun! Boo! That does oh! not really hurt him. I'm out of place! <laughs> wow, you... You told me to do it as soon as I could! <laughs> Whoa! Ha! Well, oh, fuck! Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck! Oh, fuck. oh shit! Whoa! He, did he, Jesus, did he dick in Christ! No, he's just rolling around blowing oh, shit up everywhere! Fucking rolling around piece of shit! Oh fuck, you don't have your heart anymore, okay. I think I'm about to die. I think we're both about to get totally <laughs> fucked. We shouldn't have gone for another episode. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I don't even know he? where he is. Oh, I'm shooting it where the bullets are coming from, but that doesn't always mean yeah, anything. Yeah, no, 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 because he, keeps, he shoots oh, him every shit, time I'm dead. fucking wall. I'm dead. Oh, Jesus, don't tell me that. Oh, oh God, help me. <laughs> Stay with me, big dog. <laughs> oh, no! What's happening? Why is it dark? <laughs> This oh is my terrifying. fucking god! Oh Jesus! Oh. <laughs> I made you a whole buddy. Oh god! I only have one hit left. I can do this. I can take this guy out. Oh! <laughs> decoy! 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 <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> it's, it's super it's useful. Bullets. Where the fuck is he? I can't. Oh no! Don't do that. He's. I can't hit him while this is happening. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think you probably can. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm out of those, so... Okay. Huh. Do they recharge? I recharge, yeah, when I start glowing blue again. Okay. Got it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Dude, I so fucking believe in you. Oh, man. <laughs> you got it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no! No! One of the good ones. <laughs> Rip. Past still haunts you. Wow, what a terrible thing to say to someone who just died. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Well, let's return to the breach. Okay. Let's see what other kind of shit we can get into. We'll we'll fuck around for a bit this time. Do one more silly episode of this. I'm gonna play an all new character. Who do you think I should play? Um. Out of the two, I kind of like the pilot better. Okay. It's weird that I don't like the convict at all, because she's like the, the high damage one. Hey, come get me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, hold on. I want to see what my, my items are. Okay, oh, so right. You got the lockpick? Yeah, in uh, laser does not reveal secret walls. What the fuck does that mean? It means there are secret walls, and that gun doesn't reveal them. <laughs> so you, that's what you were talking about earlier. Yeah, so I okay. shoot walls with, like, other guns. Okay, but... so I got, like, a clothespin to pick locks with. Mm-hmm. And this is price at shops. Nice. Nice. Uh, increases active item capacity and maximum ammo counts. Mm-hmm. His Wait, gun's well. the worst, though. Okay, okay. So the Marine has a bigger clip, but he can carry more ammo. Right. Okay, got it. Hmm. Well, that's kind of cool. We don't have enough, uh, whatever the fuck these are. Green things. Shitty failed, uh, late 90s console symbols. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what that looks like? It looks yeah. like it's a symbol for some gaming company that, like, came out with, like, a shitty, like, Game Boy ripoff and right? tried to sell it as, like, the most fucking <laughs> extreme can held ever. We have three games. <laughs> Pong, almost Pong, and not Donkey Kong. <laughs> Collect them all. <laughs> and uh, also this one game that's only available at McDonald's. <laughs> no, no, not McDonald's though. It's like some like shitty like only uh, uh, like a fast food chain that only exists in Wyoming. <laughs> right. Like I don't know, Hardee's or something. Yeah. <laughs> Papa Wong's. <laughs> What is it, what do they make at Papa Wong? They make Italian food with Chinese ingredients. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a fusion place. Yeah. Yes. So you've got like <laughs> like spaghetti, but instead of it's like spaghetti with like tomatoes and shit, but it's not spaghetti noodles. It's like ramen. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I've made that before. It's not pleasant. Have you really made that before? Yeah. Dude, I just named like three random things and you were like, oh, I've had that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That sounds horrid. Oh, yeah. I would not want to give that a whirl. Dude, okay. So, 
there was a point where us and I were really into watching cooking shows on the internet for some reason. Dude, wait, you have a like a rifle? Yeah, I picked it up out of that dude, gun that's box. That's fucking cool. Yeah, the bullets will go through, dudes. If they line up, you can hit. That's two. fucking rad, dude. Okay, I'm not a big gun guy, but if I was gonna have a gun, I would totally have like a bolt action rifle like that. I just like them. I don't know why. Takes forever to reload, though. Of all the guns, yeah. Unless you get one of those, like, uh, almost all of my gun knowledge comes from playing the first two Call of Duty games. <laughs> all of mine comes from Borderlands. That's weird. <laughs> um, there was a gun in. Uh, I mean, okay, I don't fucking remember what it was called, so I don't really have that much knowledge. I remember there was a gun that only the allies had, only the American allies had, that um, it was it was kind it was like semi-automatic and an auto reloaded, but it was still basically a rifle. I don't remember what it was called though. Anyway, go on, you and us cooking shows. Oh yeah, so we'd get drunk and watch like Iron Chef and shit. Oh hey, uh, <laughs> you get it, you get it, you get it. okay. And uh, there was one where, like, the secret ingredient they had to use was cranberries. And then Russ and I were probably about a six or deep each, and we're just like, we have cranberries. We're probably better at this than whoever the fuck was on. Yeah, I these forget professional it was cooks. Mario... Uh, Mario Linguini. Yeah, the big dude. Uh, red hair. He has, like, a cooking... Several cooking shows. And pasta Alfredo. Anyway, we the, decided that we could probably improv something. The Cookie so, o Brothers. We cooked up some ramen, but we boiled it in beer because we wanted some beer cooked noodles. Is that a thing? Oh, yeah, but not the way we did it. Okay. <laughs> All right. There's, there are, like, rules that we just did not follow. <laughs> okay, okay. And um, then Russ tried to make a cranberry glaze, which uh, was basically just milk. <laughs> I don't milk. even know what a cranberry glaze is. I don't know what he wanted to glaze. <laughs> <laughs> so it was basically just this mashed up pile of cranberries and uh. milk and sugar that he boiled <laughs> Fucking frying pan. <laughs> okay. So how'd that turn out? We made this ungodly monstrosity, and then, like, immediately after, we just kind of look at each other like, we we need constant adult supervision. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of shit that, like, your parents would come home and find that you and your sibling had done to the kitchen, like, while they were working a double or something. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking parent raising in a fucking nutshell. Or child Whoa. raising, sorry. Parent, really. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, you grab that. Yeah. Hey, there's a gun too. Oh, fucking dicks! You Snow got the snowballer. Ball. Fuck yeah, dude! This gun rules. I like the snowballer. I'll use it on the boss when we get to him. Yeah, I'll probably save the rest of this M1 for the boss. Alright. Dude, those those early Call of Duty games are fucking dope. I remember there was this one. I think it was in Call of Duty Three or whatever, where you got to like, um, you got to play like uh, as the Russians in World War Two. And you got to actually, you know how like I don't know. Is that the one know. where you shoot up the airport? Uh, no, that's I think that was the first Modern Warfare. I'm talking oh. about like the first three that were all based on World War Two. You tell me nobody shot up an airport in World War Two? Not that I don't know. <laughs> Fucking, I'm sure plenty of airports were shot up. I don't know if it was like that. But. I don't know why we're coming down here. There's nothing down here. I don't, it, it's it's natural to try to explore the room. Yeah. Also, it's really hard not to break all of this shit because. There's never anything in them, but it's still, like, really no, tempting. No, those fucking gun fairies are in them. Oh, shit. Hello. What is this? You're a big old sexy chest, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I like big sexy chests. I wish I had a key to put in you. Right, well, let's find a key. Yeah. Um. <sighs> anyway. <sighs> you alright? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think I need a doctor. <laughs> oh, you want to well, whatever, we'll finish this episode first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, okay, in World War II, uh, Russian, um, ooh, wait, offering, the rest is blank. Am I doing anything? Oh, have you seen one of these before? Um, I want to say yes, I but I don't know, is. yeah. Well, well, fuck them. Maybe there's something somewhere in the dungeon, or gungeon we have to find to get to it. I think, here, let's, let's go back in here. Okay. There's nothing. In wait, there. wait, wait. I, I, I can bring, oh wait, it doesn't matter. We don't have the keys. Yeah. I wouldn't oh, mind well, let's show the, oh, let's show the mortals. Or, I mean the 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 party members. We're party the members. Yeah, we're the mortals. Come on, man. <laughs> this shit is confusing for me. <laughs> you could put out the fire in the fireplace and then go in. And then you click press X. X and it opens up a secret room. Where are you? Secret room right here. That's the guy. Which you need two keys to get into anyway. So whatever. But still, that's cool. It's all safe. Okay. Uh, come over here. Hold down. Okay. 
am. Is that? Oh, like oh, wait. Switch to your. Or? Switch to your. Yeah. Now drop it. Okay. Nope. Okay. Uh, you were going to try to offer the gun to it? Yeah, well, there's one that, if you have only one gun, then you can offer it to it. But okay. This one doesn't seem to be that. Anyway, in World War II, oh, um, right. Russians, Russian uh, soldiers, you know how, like, Russia basically beat off the Nazis? <laughs> Sorry, they came out wrong. <laughs> Absolutely wrong. <laughs> No, okay. The, they beat the Nazis by basically throwing, like, every single soldier they fucking had at them and just, like, not even giving a shit. Like, they just, like, they sacrificed so many of their own soldiers oh. in that war. I thought it was a cold Siberian winter. Yeah, yeah, matter. whatever. That's what they wanted you to think. The real truth of it is that they basically fucking... What happened was they told their soldiers to fucking charge. And if their soldiers turned back and tried to run away from the enemies shooting at them, they would get shot by their own people behind them. Dang. So it was either run forward or get shot by your own dudes. You got to play a level in like Call of Duty Three where that happened, and huh. uh, if you didn't, um, if you didn't run forward, then you got shot by your own dudes. It was fucking brutal. You were basically running through piles of Russian soldiers. Jesus, to go to the enemy. Yeah, fucking those old Call of Duty games were fucking really committed to that shit. They were nice. I mean, not nice, but you know, it's cool. All, All right. right, shall we uh, try the boss here and then? Uh... You want to take him out next time? Um, I feel like we should call this the end of the episode. Or, I mean, the last episode for this. All right, then let's get this guy let's, fucking dead. Let's go out on a. Oh, it's cool. It's a new boss too. Oh yeah. Oh shit, he's got a little advisor. Yeah, he gets angry if you shoot him. Oh no. I mean, you could totally do it. I like how like not caring this fucking guy is. Right. Kind of do want to shoot him though. Go ahead. Okay. Keep that. that fire hand. Yeah, yeah. Shoot the fire. Oh, because it. You can put that out with the okay, snowballer. Cool. I did it. I used a blank. You did. For once. I'm so proud of you, bro. I mean, now you're just being wasteful, but that's fine. That's <laughs> fine. The important thing is that you learn it. <laughs> See, that's, that's all it comes down to, man. You learn the fucking button. That's it. It's okay to waste it a couple times if you're just learning the buttons. Gotta love the range on What the happened to the one. Chancellor? He fucking died or something. Yeah, I probably killed him. You see how the bullets are going through the king? Oh, wow, yeah. I probably just fucking... Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, no. Nice. Ah! That is really fucking cool, though. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Don't apologize, that son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, okay. Since we're just... What cha-cha? The hegemony rifle. <laughs> yeah, Um. let's go unlock that box. Oh, can we do it? We yeah, I just want to see what was in there. All right, let's find out what's in the box. What a nice little ending to the, the, the Foolish Mortals Gungeoneers. Yeah. Let's go find out what's in this dang old box. Hoo-cha! Ooh. Oh, is that the rubber bullet thing? Shock round. Oh, fuck! Oh! You sure you want to quit? <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to keep going, I'm down to keep going. That was a pretty good run, man. All right, well, let's do it then. And I have armor, apparently. I don't know when that happened. Yeah, you bought it, remember? Nope. That was a long time ago. I'm surprised you still have it. I'm going to go ahead and buy this other heart, though. All right. Since we're going to go on. All right. Well, uh, are we at that time? Oh, we've been at that time since before we went in that room. Okay. Well, uh, next time on Foolish Mortals, we will continue playing uh, Enter the Gungeon. Whether John likes it or not. Enter the Gungeon. Feature me, consider putting a picture of someone putting a dick in Jar Jar Binks after I said Enter the Gungeon. Why? I mean, Gungan. Because Gung they were they were Gungans. He was a Gungan. That's what his race was. Oh, I've never seen that movie. Well, consider it, but probably don't do it. I'm not gonna. Can you? Uh, after this episode, Chris and I are gonna take a break to read YouTube terms of service regarding dicks. Probably no. <laughs> I'm thinking no. He's going to go to the fucking terms of service, and at the very bottom, it's going to say, can I put a dick in my video? No. Yeah, it's just a gif of a guy slowly shaking his head at you. <laughs>